Nothing better, is there? Um, the most important part of the show are the brake fittings and the wiring loom. The springs, I don't need them right now, but I'm still just going to loosely fit them to the chassis just to get them out of the way. Um, but I think I'll start off with the wiring loom first. The wiring loom I'm using is from a company called Waterspark. They do a whole range of wiring looms for plastic cars and stuff like that. Um, this is just the chassis wiring loom for a Series 3. Um, they do a full wiring loom kit for it, but I'm hoping I can just get away with using this because the full wiring loom kit is quite expensive. The reason I, I did buy this was because while I was poking around for rust, I noticed that my wiring loom in the Lambie was quite badly chafed. Uh, it had chafed all the way through some of the insulation and it was obviously shorted out from the chassis. So rather than trying to repair that, it's just easier to replace it. This has all the correct connectors on it already, so there's no hassle with anything like that. Um, it should just be a case of pull it through and I'll be able to plug it straight in. I've already fed some rope through the chassis uh, to pull this wiring loom along and then anywhere where there might be any bits on the wiring loom that could snag on the strengthening bits inside the chassis, I'll just take them off with electrical tape uh, to hopefully try and smooth them off and slide past all of them. So that's a wiring loom installed. Um, it's not a particularly rewarding job or anything like that, but it needed to be done. Um, at least it's new, I won't have any issues with it. Um, next I'll move on to the brake lines. I'll start by fitting the four-way and the brake hoses, and then at least I've got a start and an end point to run the lines to and from.
quite pleased with how they've turned out. Um, takes a bit of time, a lot of fitting, taking off, just to get all the bends done. I haven't run them in the factory position at the front. Uh, I've gone over the top of uh, the chassis instead of running underneath. Just figured it would be a better place to run them. Um, everything's still serviceable, so I need to swap out the brake line at some point. I can still get to all the clips. I've also, on the other side of the chassis, I've run a nylon tube, and that'll be for axle breathers, front and rear, and then also run a couple of breathers from the gearbox. These will run up the, the firewall, and um, this is more just to so the breathers don't get clogged up with dirt. And also, I might end up axle deep in water with this thing, so it's a little help out with that as well. So now I'm just going to chuck the springs on, more to get them out of my way, and a few other bits and pieces. Um, at the moment I'm, I'm tripping over them, so I figured if I just put them on the chassis, it'll go out of my way, and I won't lose any bits. At the risk of this being a total trivial broom at the moment and being all new parts, I figured I better install some old parts from the landing. So I took off the handbrake lever, gave that a blast and a clean up. New ratchet mechanism and pins and stuff, but the actual handle is still original. I had the original bumper re-galvanized. Um, I could have bought a new one, but I kind of like the old one with all sorts of scratches and dents and stuff. The reason I had it re-galvanized was because it was quite badly rusted on the inside. Um, obviously, it's a bit too shiny now, but I will address that at a later date with a bit of key wash. Definitely a bit too shiny, but I might just let it fade by itself. We'll see how it looks once I've got the bodywork on. That's it for this episode, I think. Um, I've run out of all the parts I had lying around. Suspension's on, it's not tight. I need to do that once all the bodywork and engine and everything's on the chassis. Brake lines are done, but yeah, she's looking good. I think next episode, I will whip the axles off the landy outside and get the chassis rolling and then I can start servicing bits and building it up. So yeah, see you next time.